overclock your controller to reduce your input delay and to also eliminate any latency spikes. So in this video I'll show you how you can overclock your Razer Wolverine V2 Chroma. And you need these two overclock uh, software, this one overclock software called IDUSBF and the other software is called the X Input to Input Delay Checker. And uh, to download and install them is really easy. So the first one is uh, click on here IDUSBF.zip and after that click on here download raw file and after you download it you need to unzip it use any unzip software you can unzip it and uh, the other one is the X input check so you can check the input delay so again you can just click here and, and for this one click on here latest click here and after that click here on portable and it's going to be downloaded and again you can un just unzip it okay so the process of the overclock is you have to open the overclocking software and you see this sweet low right click and click on install certificate and then uninstall the certificate and uh, I think even if you don't un uh, even if you do not un uninstall this certificate this will work maybe maybe because I have tried both and it worked for me okay so click on the setup here and uh, run as administrator and click on yes after this click here and click on all and look for the Razer Wolverine so it will say Xbox gaming device and to, it will say X input compatible the, it's going to be like this so uh, click on here and click on 1000 click on filter on device and click on install service and it will say yes so you just accept and after that unplug the Razer Wolverine controller and replug it to your PC and after that you will see that these numbers are different now it says uh, the interval is 1 and rate is 1000 and the filter is yes so uh, after that I would just close this up and open the X input checker. So the latency spikes on this controller was uh, it goes from four millisecond to eight millisecond. So we uh, so with this overclock you can eliminate the eight millisecond and it should be constant four millisecond. So let's test right now. So uh, all I see is four 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 four. So it says top outlier seven. I'm gonna do the test again and I will look for the outlier. Let's see. Okay, so now it doesn't say any outliers, it says zero, and it says max is 4.9, the average is 4 millisecond, lowest is 2.9, and the jitter is very low also, holding rate 250 hertz, I'm going to do the test again. Yeah, so these, this is really, really good, so no more 7 or 8, and uh, for this I will do even more uh, research, I will put... The results here and I will search so it says here that uh, 4.9 so let's see how many times it hit 4 point so it hit it five times so it hit five times uh, 4.9 and uh, I think that's really good like uh, uh, these are good results consistent results and very low spikes very low so no more 8 millisecond spikes no more 7 uh, only the spikes go to 4.9 which is 5 millisecond and only for 5 times and only for 5 times and let's search for maybe 4.8 4.8 is 0 okay nice it did not hit 4.8 at all 4.7 is also 0 so this is this is really good and I would say it's hit 4.9 because of a human error and uh, yeah so this overclock will definitely help you in single player and in multiplayer games and especially in multiplayer games it will help you to hit consistent shots and track targets better and um, it will make you a good player